the Omaggio a Palladio festival is very central in my life. I would say it's one of the most important things in my entire activity because of the city of Vicenza, of its exquisite beauty, because of Teatro Olimpico, which is to me the most beautiful theatre in the world, without doubt. And to me it's a great pleasure and a great honour that we can do this festival every year, and already for the 14th time. The first time I played a concert here at the Teatro Olimpico, it was an incredible experience. Of course, I knew the theatre from pictures and from books. But apart from, from its optic beauty, uh, also acoustically, it's a wonderful place. Music really lives here and, and breathes. And the first time I saw it, I immediately thought of the operas of Mozart. The Da Ponte operas, especially, I thought that this was the ideal place for that. And truly, a few years later, we did Così Fan Tutte in this theatre, which was an unforgettable experience. The combination of uh, architecture and music, and, and music is also architecture because it has a certain form and a certain structure. So, I try to select works which I find that, you know, aesthetically, that they go perfectly well together with Palladio's wonderful sense of architecture. <laughs> I know very well Joseph Lowe's film of Don Giovanni, which was filmed in Vicenza and also in this theatre. So it's no coincidence that in this video production for Medici Arts I included the overture to Don Giovanni in combination with the D minor piano concerto, because to me Mozart's piano concertos are also operas with fantasy. You have to imagine the stage and the singers and the protagonists and, and the mise-en-scene, but actually it's only the music. However, the whole action takes place in, in the listener's mind and imagination. In the next edition of our festival, in 2011. As usual, the, there are three concerts and they take place during a weekend, so Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This time there will be a special concert in, in a beautiful uh, Romanic church, Chiesa Santa Felice, and we will perform Schubert's wonderful E flat major mass, preceded by his last piano sonata. So this is a very special combination, piano sonata and a mass, a sacred work, which were, both works were written in the same year. And the other concerts are a mixture of chamber music and orchestral works, also some piano concertos.
Palladio is the only place where my wonderful chamber orchestra, the Cappella Andrea Barca, get together every year for a week and rehearse very intensively and perform these works. Only in Vicenza, it's the only city in Italy where we play and we don't play in many places anyway. This is a very special orchestra of soloists and chamber musicians and close friends. Uh, so every time we get together in Vicenza it's a, it's a very special experience for us and we would like to share it with the listeners. So I hope many of you will come to Vicenza and I highly recommend it because just to experience this music in Teatro Olimpico is not something that you can get in many places. <laughs>